Let's face it, managing your team effort and cost could be a pain when your team has to handle multiple projects at a time, too many tasks to schedule, no tracking of your resources, vacations, and timesheets, or having headache when calculating billing and cost. Imagine you could do all that by yourself with just a few clicks. That's exactly what Team Board Time Planner allows you to do. Hi, I'm Fiona, and today, I'm going to show you the demo of Team Board Time Planner. To open Team Board Time Planner on Jira Dashboard, go to Apps, Team Board Time. As default, you come to Dashboard. Here, you would see an overview of your data. On the left, you could see a donut chart depicting comparison between scheduled cost and actual cost over the selected week. On the right side is a time chart, which shows tasks and scheduled time in one week. Right under the donut, a line chart is used to illustrate time log. And lastly, a report to demonstrate the comparison between log time, scheduled time and even days off. Moreover, Dashboard also allows you to view data of teams and other members. On the top left corner, choose member and fill in a name. Likewise, choose team to see team's log which you wish to see. Next, in member section, you can view staff's information, such as usernames, their technical skills, cost rates, and their stacked up experience through past projects. Also you can easily add more information by clicking edit profile button on the left. As you can see in daily capacity section, you can set default capacity, which is common working hours per week. However, if your working time does not follow a common time frame, then you may like to use custom capacity, which can be altered in seconds. Besides, if your team includes multiple nationals from different sites, the holiday calendar could come in handy. Just choose the suitable national holiday, then save the settings, and all will be settled. And if you want to view other resources, just go to all resources section. This is where you can look up every member, whoever has access to current instance. For example, let's type in one or two names. Easy and quick isn't it? Here from within the side panel, we'll navigate to team section, where we can add or remove an individual resource to groups. You can create new groups and add or remove members. This comes in handy as you work in teams inside your project. Now, we go to clients, this is where you can view, edit or add your clients information, with just a few steps. I can easily add new client to the board, first, click create a new client. Then, add all available informations. Here, I add two projects, you can add one, two or as many projects as you want, click create and done. Next, let's take a look at Schedule tab, the heart of Team Board Time Planner, where you can arrange all tasks with ease, while viewing schedule. You also have option to view teams or individual schedule. Up here you'll see buttons, which helps you to view the schedule of team or member. You can also view the workload based on working capacity by toggling Show Workload Switch, as well as choose days or weeks to view schedule in short, or long term. Now, let's assign a task. Just click on a day, you can either create a completely new task, or simply choose a pre-existing task. For pre-existing task, choose a client, a task. Input the desired working hours, check the planned date, then make it billable, and click plan. Easy right? 
Additionally, it's possible to assign tasks not only to you but also to other members. To do that, click on a day. Then repeat all previous steps. However, don't rush to click Plan button. Instead, click New Assignee. Duration Time Start and End Dates Now, click Plan button. The task will be automatically added to your schedule, as well as his. Another way to assign tasks is by clicking on the Issue button, which will show you the available tickets. You can either use Basic Search or JQL Search to find the task, then drag it to schedule to assign it to one member of the team. You can then again, adjust the time by dragging vertically or horizontally, as well as customize the planned task by clicking on the Issue options. Beside task scheduling, the app also allow you to plan day off. Left click on a day. Choose the request vacation tab and choose type of leave. Then choose the approver and click submit. Let's move to timesheet. It is where you can view all your time logs in one shot. From within the time log page, you can log the time you use to complete the tasks. Then click Submit to send the request to the approver for timesheet approval. We'll move to My Timesheets. By collecting all of your log data, My Timesheets will show you an overview of working time and leave time. Now, we go to Timesheet Approval page. Inside it, you can see the timesheet sent to you by your colleagues. They are displayed based on weeks. Therefore, by using your own buttons and collapsed calendar, you can easily view timesheets in particular weeks. And can also choose to view requests from specific persons. However, to make sure there are no requests missed, let's choose all reporters and drop down list at the top right corner. Next, we'll see Vacation section. My Vacation page will allow you to raise vacation and leave requests. Do you remember, just now, I'd raised a leave request while doing all schedule stuff? Yes, you're right, all leave requests, which are made on schedule, are automatically recorded on my requests list. However, here, you're not only allowed to add, but also able to modify your previous requests. But of course, they must be in not processed state. Now, let's take a look at vacation approval. Within this page, are the requests from other members, who earlier have sent their leave request to you. With just one click, you can filter out your requests based on their current statuses. Granting approval or rejection is in your hand now. So, what about the cost and billing data? Would it be stored, calculated accurately after a whole procedure we'd followed earlier? Worry not. Team Board Time Planner would always give you the exact data which user had added through scheduling and logging effort system. The app gives you four types of billing reports. Individual, Team, Project and Client. Each type serves its own purpose. Individual Cost Report would show scheduled cost and actual cost.
You can also view the exact data, captured in a specific time range by choosing one of these available options. Same conception is applied for Teams Billing Report. Projects And of course clients too. The report tab will keep you updated with your team's capacity, scheduled time, and actual time logged. You can view teams and individual teams members by searching for them by name. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Team Board Team Planner. Using Team Board Team Planner would help you bring team management to the next level. The app is free for trial in 30 days. Try it now.